Welcome to any fitness possible. This might be brief, but looks like we have a brief break in the weather here. It's kind of a cold, overcast day. Uh, but welcome in if you're watching this later or if you come in live. Tammy, thank you. I see you there. We just took a few hours off from doing some work, indoor work ourselves. Got Lyle over there fishing today. Looks like he's got a leaf fish he's proud of. But let me let me get the pack bait on these rods. And uh, we're up at the big reservoir today. We've never fished this spot live, so see if we can get a catfish or a uh, um, carp. We might get a break in the weather. Yay. I'll be up in the chat with you guys in just a minute. Let me get these rods in. Got our extreme pack bait again, extreme recipe. And we also have a little bit of the old recipe. All right, we're kind of doing this on the rush here because it's been so nasty out and it's kind of really raw and nasty and 
I don't think the weather's going to hold long. But we'll give it a go. Kids out of the house anyway. Okay. Yeah, we got some bad weather, that's for sure. Wild Japan, welcome in. We got, uh, we're supposed to get rain every day this week. We're in just a nasty raw pattern. Temps in the 40s, a little chilly. There's John, Old Venture Capital. Welcome in. Hi, Joan. Chad, Presidente. We might catch a monster today. This is monster weather. Uh, who else we got in here? That's it, Bulk. OG member right there. There's Travis. The rain should be done. We'll see. We'll see. It's just drizzling right now. Travis and uh, Travis and his 22 kids and uh, Lion Kevin, we were all out together fishing on Saturday morning for Mentor Day. So we had a good time. You just cast it across my lines. Bring it in fast. Yeah, my lines are out there, bud. If you cast, cast straight in front of you or to the left, okay? Oh, Lord. Hook set, Sam. What's up, buddy? It's monster weather. That's right. Let me tighten these lines. That middle one looks like it loosened up a bit. We could catch channel cats, bullheads, carp, bass. There's a big mix of fish in here. That rod on the end is actually getting tapped already. Let's see what we can get going. Did a little bit of editing this morning. Maybe two, three hours worth of editing. We got a great video coming this Friday. And probably, go, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to attempt to be live Monday through Thursday this week. Um, we'll see what the weather does. Kids will be in school, so I, I do have some ideas of places that I can fish almost from the car if necessary. Um, Friday, we probably won't be live. I might do a pop-up, but I'm actually working at the local bait shop. Uh, Pearson's Plugs in uh, Green Lane, Pennsylvania. I'll be helping those guys out. It's the day before opening day at Trout in Pennsylvania and uh, their busiest day of the year. So they're going to need some help. Uh, hooks at Sam. Pole vault. Is that are you for real? Is that what you do? You pole vault? That's pretty wild if so. Says he hasn't, uh, Hooks at Sam, says he hasn't been live in a while. He's been focusing on the pole vault. Kind of sounds like a joke, but I kind of think he's for real. <laughs> oh, oh, and right here. Get ready, Lyle. You might have one on here. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Lyle. Get going, buddy. Here we go. Come on, Lyle. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Lyle. Feels like a good one, guys. Feels like a real good one. Is he pulling drag? Don't reel if he's pulling drag. He's off. That was a monster. He went right around the rock. He went right around the rock and felt one head shake and he was gone. I'm going to fight the next one to make sure I have control over it before I hand it off. 
Oh, Lord, that was a good one. We weren't moving that thing at all. I don't think that was a carp either because he didn't run. I think it was a cat. Big cat. I think that was a big old channel, buddy. He didn't run. Did you let down? He knocked you up. Channel. I saw one big run. I felt like he just dove down. I'll fight him, but I gotta get him up off the bottom. Once I get him off the bottom and away from the rocks, I'll hand it off to you next time, okay? Uh, dang. That was a good fish, buddy. Hey, Bud Files. Uh, Hooks at Sam City on varsity as a freshman. I'm hoping to jump 12 foot six at district. Sweet, dude. 12 foot six, this dude jumps. With a pole vault bio, that run jumps. Hooks at Sam. Glacier Shark, welcome in. Um, I love bananas 12. I'm Jack Cats and Bass on a separate account. Keep those bananas out of here, they're bad luck. Watch those poles. Let's get a takedown here. I eat bananas. I ate one this morning. Let me tend to these lines, make sure they're all tight. We had one big takedown already. We had one big takedown a few minutes ago. We didn't land them. He just kind of picked up the bait. <laughs> The rod bent slightly, I felt a couple head shakes, and then he just swam wherever he wanted to. The drag just started pulling. And uh, yeah, he's still out there. <laughs> oh. It's tough fishing for these big fish. If you're not used to it, it's like a, uh, it's a real careful balance between pulling too hard and not hard enough. Duck. Yeah, there's a ducky coming over. Oh, it's a duck. So I'll probably fight the next one just to get a feel for it. And I forgot to turn the notifications off again. So you're going to be hearing hook sets in the background. <laughs> uh, 14 awesome people in here. Thanks for coming in. Uh, if you don't mind, please give me a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithms and all that junk. Appreciate it. We'll, we'll fish. Uh, we'll fish a little bit. Try to make an hour. If the weather's good and the fish are biting. Maybe we'll stay. V8, welcome in, Sam. One of my members right there. Man, I popped in the your live this weekend. It was quiet. Uh, maybe it was Easter. You had like 800 people in there watching the watching the car races. It's pretty wild, man. That was a huge crowd. Uh, Travis said, we caught eight trout in 30 minutes and I ate a banana beforehand. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you did have a banana. <laughs> Matt, want to be outdoors? Welcome, welcome. Uh, bananas aren't bad luck. I don't believe in that superstitious stuff. Okay. All right, all right. Um, black cats aren't bad. I like black cats. Yeah, they're cute. Got some wind now. Atlas yeah, Angler popped in to them. say hi. Good lunch break. Together. Thanks for coming in, Scott. Hope you have a good day. Got a ducky down here chilling. Here comes another duck. Oh, that's his girlfriend. Girlfriend duck's coming over. It's so gray out here. Do not adjust the... Don't adjust your camera. It really is this gray. Oh my god, the duck went on the water. Diving duck. He's going down to eat. He's going down to eat. Wow, 18,000 views Sam had on this live. 18,000. Man. Listen, and, the duck 
Yeah, and he did that without wearing a bikini. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping to catch Jack. We're hoping to catch a giant today. I, we had a good one hooked there. That was a good fish because there's no current in this lake here. It's it's a reservoir, and he fought just as hard as that big one we lost in the creek with current. So that was a good fish for sure. Come on, monsters. Anyone know what to do with leftover ham? We got a ton of it. We're going to do a, a quiche for dinner. Lyle and I are going to run to the supermarket, get some ingredients and make quiche. Uh, we had some smoked trout and ham for lunch. I had ham and cheese and eggs for breakfast. I know we can do the ham hock soup, but not sure what else. We got a lot of ham left. Yeah, comes the duckies. Oh, watch that rod. All the way to the right, Lyle. You see it? Sorry, Ducky. Trying to catch fish here. Looks like a bullhead here. That's real as my old one I had. Give it time to develop. That kind of looks like a bullhead. Modog. Somebody said Modog. There he is. Okay, I'm here. You can catch something now. Oh, just about just did. We got something playing with the end rod. I'm going to catch a duck. I'll catch you a duck, Modog. <laughs> Lyle's enjoying watching the duck. Put them in the chicken coop. No more pets. We got enough pets. Come on, fish. Let's catch a fish. Let's catch a duck. Ran out of bread, so I just ate bacon and eggs today. Glacier, same deal. Lyle is gluten free uh, with celiacs, so we uh, we don't buy a lot of the breads, and when we do, it's all the special breads. So yeah, they're not the best tasting bread, so uh, oftentimes we just go without bread too. Which is probably good. Baking more bread now. Um, this is a this is no trout. Um, trout was only open one day and for the youth on Saturday, and it's closed down again until this Saturday when it opens for everybody. So we're still limited. Um, this is up on the big reservoir, not too far from our house. It's just big water, um, but there are some really good fish in here. You just have to kind of get lucky because it's so big. There's no one spot where they kind of come to. This time of year, anyway, you will get them in some of the inlets, but it's so massive that uh, this is. I I did a video last week. I was riding my bike around. A lot of these trails here are where I was on the bike, trying to get get into some of those points that I had done good. Um, those marks that I've done good uh, on previously. But I I feel like this is one of those places where if you put your time in you're going to catch something really good so that's what we're doing it's getting out throwing the lines in 
Mission Discover says doing homework and watching. We're up at the big reservoir, uh, Nolan, just above where we were carp fishing together. Oh, he got some ideas here. Ham sandwich, ham on eggs, ham on toast, ham with spam. This sounds like uh Oh, I like that. This sounds like the uh Dr. Seuss. Let's do that. Let's do that. Ham on ham? Yeah. <laughs> ham on spam. Ham pizza, peppers wrapped in ham. Peppers wrapped in ham. Hmm. Pickles wrapped in ham. Oh, Pretzel wrapped in ham. <laughs> I'm going to check this out for lunch. Bacon wrapped in. We already ate lunch. Dinner, tomorrow lunch. Lunch number two? Yeah. Yeah, we got to talk about the whole eclipse thing yet and figure out what we're doing. Lyle wants to go see the eclipse. Saturday's opening day, so eclipse is on next Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we might be going somewhere. We got to watch the weather. I don't want to drive six hours and then it'd be cloudy. And there's definitely a good chance of that where we live, so. We got to figure out what we're doing yet. I think it's just to find the battery powered cloud <laughs> Yeah. Figure out a way to get the clouds. If they were calling for clouds, and like last night, suddenly they were talking about no clouds, and this morning it looked like clouds. But we're still too far away for them to know what's going on. At this point, I'm not listening to those people. Yeah, weather people are always wrong. I had to redo my entire 20 gallon yesterday because I had an algae bloom that was releasing toxins. So I re had to redo the whole tank, lost a lot of fish. Yeah, it stinks. Oh, is that a duck or a fish over there? Fish. For real? Yeah. It's a tail. You could cast the spinner over there. Okay. Go on the other side of that bush and cast that. Right out there, see if you can pick them up. That's probably a big bass. If, if you hook them, take your time, okay? You don't go hauling it in like glacier shark pulling in a salmon. Lyle reels in like one, one of those uh, electronic reels that you use for like tile fish or something down deep in the ocean. If it's a small fish, you'll just see it water ski across the surface. But when it's a big fish, he snaps them off. I don't have the special glasses for the eclipse. Well, don't look at it, Chad. <laughs> Sam's down to nine small fish. Yeah, welding helmet. Perfect. Cracked my screen on my helmet. Oh. 98%. Yeah, I don't know what it is where we are, but it's not 100%. So Lyle wants 100%. I think it'd be cool to find a spot to fish and have fish during the total eclipse. It'd be kind of fun. Live bass. Uh, bad one. Yeah, keep trying, bud. Hopefully we'll be eating trout for lunch on Saturday. Big ones up at the mountains. Yeah, they taste. They do taste better up there. You're right about that. Person, I just look at it and admire it while it burns my redness. <laughs> Not a good idea, Sam. Not a good idea. There goes a black duck. Lyle, straight in front of you. He's flying. Black duck. That's cool. Oh, there we go. Take down. Take down. Can you come over? Pretty good when he was in the shallows and he swam out deep, so he's running away still. 
Take point up, tip up. Got to keep that tip up. Got to keep the bend in the right. You don't have to reel all the time, but you got to keep that rod bent all the time. Go walk, stay where you are. And you pull back. You stretch on this way, you're going to bring the line this way. Holding that, I'll bring the timer down. Just 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 Just
We helped the uh, fishing club, the trout club stock trout all day Saturday. My back is wrecked. Stretch out. Oh, you still have, what? No, I put the line through the eyes. I'm not sh yeah, I'm not sure I have another lure with me though. I might. I'll look in a second. Let me get caught up with chat first. Fish in the net. Hey, Tammy. I know you're working. Glad you caught that one. Uh, looks like a couple pet ducks. Yeah, you want them? I'll mail them to you. Looks like Sam's going to eat lunch. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Sam. Uh, down in Norristown, I think you're asking me, Travis, after stocking, we did fish a little bit. Yes. Well, Kevin did. I didn't fish. Uh, we got our buddy, Alexan my buddy Don. Uh, we've been best friends since we were little kids. Uh, he's got a little kid, a little boy. Uh, so we were primarily trying to get him hooked up. We did get him three trout. So then after that, we just kind of hung out and uh, Kev caught a bunch more there. And then we called it a day. Where are you? Let me look for a lure here. Let's see what I got. Try to find a lure that if you lose that might be it we'll give a few more minutes let's get a cat let's get a cat right part for you there's dogs fun fighting that fish yeah yeah see this is all shallow here once they come into that shallow they, I think I, they want to take off i think i got snagged on a log yeah there's a lot of snags in here that's when you bring the lure in close you have to lift the tip up to get them out of there we got 12 awesome people hanging out what we got here we got stewart oh look at that fish splashing out there it's just Kevin. Uh, it's just Lyle and I today. I couldn't handle both kids because it was raining and nasty out. And, uh, we we're going to run to the supermarket, so we figured we stopped doing a little fishing, and because it stopped raining for like a second. So as long as the rain holds off, we'll uh, we'll fish probably about an hour, and uh, that's probably it. We got a lot a lot of other stuff going on today, but we won't leave it. The fish are biting. You did miss a common. We just brought a common in not too long ago. <laughs> it's nasty. My back is killing me. Same. Your back hurts too? Yes, You're bad. getting too old? You're crouching over you. Sit up right. Oh, that's a duck out there. It's doing that splashing. That's no, that's no fish. We did have a nice takedown. Something huge on. But we lost that one. I think that was a big channel cat, honestly. I'll look at the weather each night and try to figure out what we're doing with the lives. We're probably going to end up over at Lake Nakamix in one of these days because it looks like a bunch of heavy rain. I know a spot I can fish from the car over there. We can run the live. A little early yet to go down the city for catfish and fish from the car. The flatties won't be active, but channels might be. This isn't a bad spot. The pavilion's too far away though. There's a pavilion behind us, but it's too far to really set up under. You won't see the rods. What a big takedown here. That was a pretty good takedown on that little rod. 
Not that you might not have seen it because you were already you were pretty far away. He hit it a couple times. It. What? I just solved it. Oh uh, yeah, on the other side. Yeah, I got like walls in there. Flying around the edge. Yeah. Yeah, they do that. Beep, beep. Thirty-six minutes beep. in. My phone is blowing up right now. Why? I don't know. I think it's all the apps I have on it. Oh, like the notification. So I'm like, you know, it's vibration to me. Give you a view here. I'm gonna walk around a little bit and show them. <laughs> That's about it. That's our view, guys. I'm already stepping. Black duck. All right, let's get your back set up there. Have we caught anything, Stuart? We caught a fish. Yeah, we did, Stewie. We did. Your your nephew, Mr. Lyle, caught one. Netted it not that long ago. We have to get another one for you now, or what? LB, what's going on? This is woman outdoors. I don't, we don't need rent a fish. We got it done. We got a nice common. We didn't even have to take them out of the water. We kept them right in the net. It's a nice little beach to work off of. Curbside, welcome in, buddy. We'll get another one for you, Stuart. Don't worry, don't rewind. We'll just catch another one. Yeah, Uncle Stewie. I would love to have seen that first one we hooked up, though. I don't know the best spot here to set up. It's not a bad spot. That spot over there has a has a grill. <sighs> Head is switching. This is the boys' last day off from school for Easter break. So it'll be just me live uh, Monday through or Tuesday through Thursday. And then, uh, And Friday, I will. Uh, I'll have a long video up Friday, and I'll be working at the local bait shop. And maybe I'll pop up live. I, I'm not going to schedule anything, not knowing what uh, who I'll be working with and what they'll duck. want. Duck, duck, the goose. Two ducks are back! Yay! Love you guys. Oh, they're we don't. They're coming. They're coming. They just want the food. Yep. Two ducks are coming back here. Let's see. This duck is going Oops. back to war. Oh, you might want to check the middle rod. It's gone. It's middle rod. It's still gone, huh? All right, Stuart, you better be watching. Lyle saw that one and called it. Good call, Lyle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
We'll do another net release. Good job, Lyle. I didn't even see that one go down. This is yours, Buck. A little. Yeah, you want to grab his tail? Yeah, sure. Help him out of there. Just squat down where you are. Don't get soaked. Just push his head out. <laughs> okay, now I'm extra cold. Good job, Lyle. All right. Let's get you guys set back up, get rebated, and see if we can make it a hat trick. That was a good call, Lyle. I didn't even see that rod go. I thought it was, I definitely saw it go first, and then that side of it also was the one that does it. And then it was just playing when I was doing it, I thought it was off, and then. Next second, you just went in for a full hit. <laughs> nice work, buddy. This is a little guy. Yeah, he's a baby. Lucky it wasn't a big one. We made that last minute run. You would have been in, you would have been in trouble. So he did not want to go. <laughs> can you blame him? Yeah, I can. <laughs> you don't know what's in store for him. Jeff Beal, what's going on? It poured here too all day. Still, we just got a little break. Did I miss anybody here? Jeff Beal's in. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be working up at Pearson's. I'm thinking about going live from up there. Ah, it's not really work. It's volunteering. I'm not really working work. I'm just hang helping them out. They're an awesome little family. They just lost Bill this year. He passed away with a heart attack. So uh, they need all the help they can get right now. A ute, uh, a ute, Stuart, is uh, it's a like a slang term for youth, a young child, or you know, a ute is a youth. It's from a movie. Leon Life, what's going on, buddy? That's number two for the day. Two and a half. Captain Clark. Captain Clark's in the house. I what's up, buddy? Two and a half. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, these, you know, these kids are. I hook a fish, they steal my rod. 
Can't get any respect in this family. <laughs> yeah, all green screen. Scotty, what's up? Fun Fishing Adventures, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Randy, good to see you, buddy. Another another black duck flying low. Look like a stealth bomber going through. That's a sound effect. That would be good. Oh, Jeff Beal found the rhino uh, icon emoji. That's cool looking. Yeah, see it? Oh, yeah, that. Hey, caught up. Danny Stone, what's going on? Welcome in, buddy. Just hanging out, dodging raindrops here. It's getting real dark again, like it's going to open up. We'll try to get a third before we go to the grocery store here. I hope you all had a good Easter. Here comes the duck again. I think I should tighten them up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, come on, Mr. Duck. <laughs> Mr. Vacuum Cleaner. So good. Oh, he likes that mix. That mix has peanut butter in it. He's going to go back to the lake and get a big drink after that. Just make sure your hand's flat if you do that. Come on, rods, let's go. That's pretty heavy line on that middle rod. I think it's tight enough. I don't want to move the pack bait. I'm going to leave it sitting there. <laughs> yeah, grit. <laughs> Corey, that's probably my one of my favorite lines from that movie is uh, when he's in court trying to prove the amount of time it takes to cook grits. I love that scene. I'm not going to mess it up. I will totally destroy it so I won't say the scene. But <laughs> it's a great movie. That movie's uh, My Cousin Vinny. That middle rod just go. These young eyes on these rods. I can't see nothing anymore. Raul Garcia. What's going on, buddy? You got any open water yet up there? You still ice fishing? I think I saw your community tab. It looked like you... Uh, I hope that was snow and not the lake. It looked like you sunk a tire into the loose snow. <laughs> Bite's pretty good. We got two uh, common carp landed and we lost a, a monster. I'm pretty sure it was a big channel cat. Had no control over it. Just took us out and wrapped us up and couldn't stop him. Old age is setting in fast this year. Comes the rain. See how the camera reacts. I don't have anything to put under it. Over it. I wonder what that photographer is trying to capture over there. There must be something rare out here. No, nah, he's not out here for a picture. I think he's looking for a type of bird or something. Maybe the black duck? The elusive black duck? He's pretty cool looking. I think it's a black mallard though. I think that's just a different color pattern. I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, thanks, Danny. Appreciate you. Thank you. 
if you guys are hanging out and you haven't done so please hit the thumbs up and help us out we're not going to be up live today too much longer but the rides keep bending over maybe we will be we haven't really uh we've never fished live from this spot and i don't think we've ever carp fished this spot at all so i figured why not throw some rods out We really just came to use up the rest of the bait. I'm going to make fresh pack bait tomorrow. But these are the days where monsters are caught with this weird weather. That's what I told Lyle. I said, these are the days you can catch a monster. Take the camera off your butt. <laughs> You're off camera now. Now you can feed, trying to feed the ducks over there. <laughs> Just toss it. You'll you'll eat it if you toss it. <laughs> Here. Whoops, sorry, bounce you guys around. Uh, there come some geese coming in. I got really cool. Uh, uh, Travis, I don't know if you're still in here, but um, I think you were standing there when that the two geese were going after the uh, gray herring. But wait till you see the video I got of that. <laughs> it's pretty insane. They flew like a couple feet in front of our faces and I had the GoPro running. I got some really cool shots. It's gonna be about seven minutes into Friday's video. We leave, we, those ducks are going to be standing on the picnic table eating the scraps. Yeah, that last fish I've got to give to you completely because I didn't even see that rod go. I went over, he was still on it, but barely pulling. And I reeled down and he was there. Those ducks are so cute. Yeah. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Kev's gonna be mad he didn't come. The rain stopped. We already caught two. Can't see the rods, mister. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Take down. Grab it. <laughs> Pull it up and start reeling. Tip high. Good job. Take your time. Just stand there. You don't have to dance. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Scared the bejesus out of those ducks. <laughs> Put the rod straight in front of you. Turn them a little bit. No, no, no. I'll show you in a second.
right. We'll do another net release. I'm gonna try to do more net releases until we have the proper cradles with these guys. This one's a little bit bigger. There he is, another healthy. This one's pregnant. Oh, it's pregnant? Looks like it. You wanna flop her out of there? You can lay the net down and then use your hands. Just lay it on the ground. You gotta get her going, bud. Uh, where are you going? That way. Dun, 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 dun. Duckies. The ducks are back. The ducks are back. All right, let's get you guys set back up. That's three. That's three. We're running out of bait. We only have maybe enough for one more load of bait here. Then the duckies might need some. Wow, uh, remind me to order some more fake bait. I'm almost out of fake corn. Down to the white. Some more pack bait on. Yeah, this is it. That's all the pack bait. Back is shot. Okay, three fish in an hour. We're doing good. Good pace. Real good pace.
trying to capture a rare thing called Bob. Bob. If you're watching the background, please hit the thumbs up button and share out on social media. Thanks, Stuart. Appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that was good, Lyle, that you grabbed one. That was fun to see you grab one. I didn't really have a choice. Blue herring. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Stuart said three zero, Lyle. <laughs> yeah, these guys never, uh, these guys have never had this recipe up here. We've never fished for them in, the, in here. We got the idea because we, uh, we bass and catch smallies off of here quite a bit. And, uh, late fall, we saw a bunch of carp rolling. So I think there's a deep hole out here that they winter. So I figured this might be a good spot to hit this time of year just before they head all the way into the shallows. I've seen enough to, to warrant coming back here. It's a beautiful spot, so. I, I try to fish beautiful places, not just places that are low to a fish. No, I, Stuart, I can get it, don't, don't bother, bud. I literally can get it for a dollar. I just have to order it. You'll spend ten dollars shipping it. Twenty dollars to ship it. Don't I'll get it from Amazon. They'll deliver it to my door for like two bucks. I've been just I've been trying not to order stuff because I've been cleaning the house and the basement and the shed and I keep finding fishing gear. I don't really need to buy it. I just need to find it. <laughs> Fresno, what's up? What's up? Banging out the carp here. We're not going to be up to... I keep saying we're not going to be here long, but we keep catching fish, so we haven't left. But I got to get rid of this ham. I got to be making 20 different ham recipes. Got to find a fish that'll eat the ham. Lyle's over there playing with his ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you glad you came out of the house, Lyle? Not even raining now. And you get to play with a duck. <laughs> Stuart, we, when you smoke trout, you marin we marinate them for about 24 hours. Uh, then you take them out of the marinade and you rinse them off so they're not too salty. You rinse them down. And the next step is to hang them under circulating air for about three hours. Uh, that opens the pores up to absorb the smoke. Then we put them on the smoker at about 150 degrees for an hour under heavy smoke. And then we back the smoke off and uh, we open the smoker. We glaze them at the hour mark. We turn the smoker up to 210, 220, and we crisp them up. Uh, it'll make it taste like candy. That's how we do them. We hit them on the glaze, let them go another maybe hour tops it's whatever that was uh kevin's trout and lyle wanted his deep fried so he had his deep fried and kevin's was smoked jbt what's up buddy what's up thanks for coming in here appreciate that this is like an, a little unplanned live we wasn't sure it was nasty weather all day and we were going to run out to the store and it was not raining. I'm like, you know what? Let me grab the extra bait we have in the fridge. We'll go use it up. It's been a wise decision. 
we th think we may have discovered another honey hole to hit. And there's so much space here to set up. <laughs> yeah yeah Stuart I was cracking up because she's like something that smells like fish out here <laughs> like look up <laughs> Due for another takedown. <laughs> you got him trained. What are you guys trying to say? El Jefe. <laughs> Is that uh, Jeff Beal's nickname, El Jefe? We're at 24 thumbs up, nine people watching. Thank you guys, appreciate you. <laughs> yeah, JBT, we lost a giant, man. The first, the first takedown we had, I think was a big channel. He just took off to the deep and we couldn't really stop him. And, uh, Lyle didn't quite have the experience to like know where where to set the drag. We needed to give him a you know a hard yank and hope he didn't break the line to stop him and turn him, but we didn't do it and he wrapped us up and and uh, we didn't we didn't snap the line but he just I guess the line tangled on the rock and he he got some wiggle room and threw the hook. We're coming into prime turtle catching season here. Gonna be, uh, the takedowns are going to start coming a lot more often. <laughs> this Saturday trout opens up. We'll go back to the lake where I think I caught about seven turtles one time. <laughs> there's a reason why we have uh, on our members only emoji, there's a turtle there. It's going to get a lot of use. Well, I'll remind me, before we go into the store, I take my rain pants off. I'm going to make sure my pants aren't ripped. I felt something rip. <laughs> I feel like I split my pants. <laughs> I'm going to take my rain pants off and walk into a store. <laughs> yep, that's about the amount of turtles we catch. Awesome, JBT is going to be back with his uh, catfishing nights. His dance floor black lights. Sweet. Dad, I an apple. Bring it up. Or just put it in your pocket and do it later if you want. Don't get that bag, it's gonna blow right away. Yeah, good job, buddy. Preparations come here like 1,000 feet of the ground to take a fish. Nice. And that's how we'll slow down Not sure that... emeralds go. What do you guys think? I don't know if you can really see. Let me try to turn the light on this. Let's see here. Because that definitely has a formation. It does have a formation of a, uh, what is it called? Emerald. <laughs> Emerald, yeah. I saw them in the, we have a really cool rock shop by us. Is the light on? No, I guess it's not bright enough. Or it's not dark enough for it. But see those little bubbles? Uh, I don't know. Lyle's a rock hound. So am I, actually. I was up to the bay to see what they say. 
Uh, we got pack bait. We got the uh, we got the pack bait out here. Sweet corn. I think we caught that last one on the extreme recipe, which is uh, sweet corn, panko, um, jello. Um, what are the other ingredients? Peanut butter, coriander, vanilla. Can frostbite. I'll be up in a little bit. We'll hang on another 10, 15 minutes and we'll call it, okay? Um, vanilla. Oh, and anise. That's it. Unboxing 7 p.m. Eastern time today or tomorrow pending. Keep a lookout. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, uh, yeah. That was a major win right there. That's pretty sweet. You got a major award. Stewart's going to be getting me a rod soon. We have a challenge coming up. And once I win it, he's got to buy me a fishing rod. We'll go another 10 minutes, guys. Unless we catch, if we catch one, then we'll go another 10 minutes. But another 10 minutes and we'll, we'll call it. I kind of tricked Lyle to get out of the house today. <laughs> Wanted to get him out here. I can leave one at home, but leaving two is risky. Leaving both boys home alone is very risky. <laughs> Yo, John. Welcome in, bud. I only half listened to Stuart, John. I don't really know what I signed up for, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a mad cat's rod. Another mad cat's rod. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, we got three common carp so far. Yeah. Nothing huge, but yeah. I know I didn't think we'd get any fishing in, but it's gonna be another ten minutes and we're out of here. Right. Yeah, you too. Park Ranger. Oh, fishy. <laughs> John said he can't understand them. An uncommon carp? I don't know. It's a good question, John. These were definitely common, though. <laughs> Not the unusual suspect. Yeah, we're going to talk about bass again. And rod just got tapped. Might go down. The rod all the way to the right here. Might go down. <laughs> Tranny carp. Oh, Lord. Come on, rod. Let's go.
I'm not going to say nothing about John and catching bass. You think I'm dumb? <laughs> Bait me into a competition of bass. There you go. That rod's going to go. Give it another 30 seconds. We should have it down. Take it. Not walking over there for nothing. One more takedown. Diddy fish. I am, John. I am. It's cold out here. And like, not like Florida cold, like 70 degrees, like 45 and rain. Cold. <laughs> hey, Tasha. <laughs> We're only going to be live a couple more minutes. Hour 20. We'll call it an hour 30 if we... Uh, either way, we're going to call it an hour 30, even if we catch another one now. we got to wrap it up. Uh, we caught three, JBT. We got three commons. I missed a giant, but landed three. They never hit when you need them to hit. That's the way they are. Yeah, they're just starting to uh, really pick up lately. They're just starting to pick up around here. Still not seeing like bubbles, like, you know, around here at least in the summertime, like you can locate them by like looking at the bubbles and see if they're eating or just uh, like holding in an area. Uh, not seeing any of that yet. We're still kind of going on uh, knowing where the deep holes are and then fishing 
the ledges or the shallower areas near that deep hole. So they're just kind of coming out of there yet. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know if you're going to catch and release them, they all talk and they just they want to get famous on JBT show. Winds are starting to pick up a little bit. Bubble watching, that's right, John. Bubble watching. <laughs> you guys are dirty minds, I'm gonna tell you. Dirty minds. You bring that end rod in. So, I swear, sometimes bringing in a rod will, strike, will trigger a strike. We got a video coming out Friday. Uh, we're not going to show you all of them because it'd be kind of insane, but we caught over 50 fish in this video. Uh, I think I caught um, zero. <laughs> it was mostly Kevin, and Lyle got a good number too. Um, they, sl they, they slayed on Saturday. And uh, Kevin's got some footage in there where I finally got him to uh, wear the GoPro and do his own thing. I'm still not sure how to edit it, how, how I want to edit that. But I think, uh, I think some people will like that. Watching a 10-year-old fish. He's pretty, uh, he's pretty advanced. I, gotta, I don't want to brag about my own kid, but he's pretty advanced. And you'll hear him talking in the camera telling you what he's doing. He's, he pretty much uh, knows what he's doing out there. Hey, Marilyn Johnson. We got lots of ducks. Our ducks are hanging out up here. Let's get that big rod in. We're just packing it up. We've had a good live. I appreciate everybody coming in. We did get three nice fish today. All within the first hour, Lyle brought all three in, so that was fun and exciting. Let's get this middle rod.
that's enough fun for one day. Let me go back home, warm up, get some more editing done, and uh, we'll get out of here. Thank you all for coming in. Give you one last look around the reservoir here. Take a walk over here. Appreciate y'all coming out. I'll be live tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what time yet. Kids will be in school tomorrow. Um, for the locals, I might be over at Lake Nakamixon. Might set up there, I, if, especially if it's gonna rain. I'll back up off the fishing pier or off the peninsula, I guess you call it. I'll fish off of there maybe, see if we get some channels. But I'm gonna head out of here. Cars up there in the lot. Peace out, y'all. Can't think of anything witty to say. <laughs> Sounds like a fat kid in quarter race. Oh, my lord. <laughs>